What's going on everybody? It's Conte here with another video. Insert clip, overwrite clip, and replace clip. In order to show you how these three buttons are used in DaVinci Resolve 15, I'm going to first insert a couple of videos into my media pool here. File, import file, and import media. I'm going to left click, hold the mouse button down and drag my first mp4 video clip file down which contains fireworks onto my timeline. Let go of the left mouse button once you've done the same and the video clip starts from zero seconds. Going to the edit index on my DaVinci Resolve window, I can see that this first video clip file here lasts for exactly three seconds using the source out field. And if I repeat this process with video clip two, another video clip that I've chosen randomly for this tutorial, you can see that the video clip ends after four seconds exactly. I'm now gonna bring back video clip one to my timeline. And using the blade edit mode tool, I'm going to make a couple of cuts, each one after about a third of video clip one. A left click left click so I should now have three individual edits all together on my timeline going back to my selection mode tool I'm going to use this to control my red indicator for now I'm going to leave it at the beginning at zero seconds with the media pool window still open I'm now going to left click once on video clip two note that I still have video clip one here on my timeline if I were to press the first button which is insert clip by left clicking once or using F9 on my keyboard as a shortcut. You can see that on my timeline, video clip two has been inserted at the zero second mark and has pushed the three edits for video clip one further on down the timeline. Video clip one now starts at the four second mark, which as you previously saw in my edit index, is how long video clip two lasts for. I'm now going to press Control and Z to undo. Use Command instead of Control if you're a Mac user. If I were to drag my red indicator across the first edit of my video clip one file, about halfway across the first edit, note how I've dragged the red indicator to a point on my video clip on the timeline where I have not used my blade edit mode tool to make a trim. With video clip two still selected in my media pool, note how my red indicator is at point 14. I'm now gonna click on insert clip once more. Now you can see here that that first edit from video one has been split into two places as video clip two has been inserted where my red indicator was previously. If I drag the red indicator back to the new trim that has been made, we are back at the 14 section mark where I was before I clicked the button here. And the video clip two file, as you can see, has been inserted into the middle of the video one edit and has split this into two pieces. And so the red indicator on your timeline basically marks the start of where your new inserted clip will begin playing from. If I undo this change here, I'm now gonna demonstrate the second button, which is called overwrite clip. If I keep the red indicator here at point 14 on the timeline, with video clip two still selected in the media pool, I'm gonna left click on the overwrite clip button once. Use F10 on your keyboard as a shortcut. Now, as you see here, an extra four seconds has been added to the total duration of my video file. What has basically happened is that video clip two has been inserted at the point where my red indicator was previously at point 14. Now what has happened is that the video clip two file has overwritten the edits from video clip one, which were previously on my timeline. They have not been pushed forward beyond the end of the new inserted clip as was previously demonstrated by the insert clip button Having pressed Ctrl and Z again to undo, I'm finally going to move on to the third button, which is called Replace Clip. The keyboard shortcut for this one is F11. I'm gonna keep my red indicator at point 14. You do not need to left click on the video edit itself so that it is highlighted in red frames like so. 
again like with the previous two buttons with video clip 2 still selected in my media pool I'm now going to left click on the replace clip button now note what has happened on my timeline beyond the red indicator and up to the next trimmed section on my video the file in this newly created edit here is that of video clip 2 if I zoom in using the relevant button on the right of my DaVinci Resolve window once more so that you can see video clip 1 remains before the red indicator and video clip 2 has been slotted in starting from the point where my red indicator was and finishes where the next trim has been made and as you can see on the timeline here video clip 2 has not been inserted into the next edit along the timeline. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video is useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.